the book of the Lord has all the angles covered. Gender is exposed by the authorized Holy Bible. It is written in Leviticus 19.19 Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled in linen and woolen come upon thee. A gender is exposed in the scriptures as a verb, not a noun. Gender is not what you are. Gender is what you do. You gender livestock by breeding them to reproduce. This is why the authorized Holy Bible shows gender as breeding to produce life. Gender is what is produced. Even feelings like strife is what you gender produce. As the scriptures say in 2 Timothy 2.23, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. Therefore, there is no such thing as transgender, gender dysphoria, or any other gender mind psych used by the powers that be on the masses. Their agenda is clear. The powers that be openly say there are too many people on the earth. This is all part of population control. They confuse the males and females so they don't gender reproduce. The Lord Jesus Christ, who made all things operating as Father, never told mankind, don't be fruitful, don't multiply. God wants mankind to gender. The Father that created heaven and earth told us to be fruitful and multiply which would be as long as earth continues with summer, winter, seed time and harvest, night and day. Genesis 1, 27, 28. Genesis 8, 22. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today and forever. He knew there would be a 21st century and the ice caps would be melting, but he never said, don't be fruitful and don't multiply. When the Lord God is ready, he's going to melt all the elements in the heavens and earth anyway. So global warming is going to be the least of mankind's problems. 2 Peter 3, 10 and 12. Mankind better repent and believe the gospel. Time is running out. Tick, tock, tick. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.